Look at it. Pl uh, plenty of trips to go wherever you're going today. Work, school. Anybody still in school today? There's still yeah. some schools yeah. out there that are in session this week. So uh, we've got some worries to talk about uh, the next couple of days. But today we're looking good. Check it out. This is essentially a great forecast for us. You see this warmth, this green kind of coming into Cleveland. Here's all the cold there. That's actually going to be what happens uh, later on this week. All this cold air is going to just kind of erode at our warm air. Not until later on this week, though. Today, we've still got that south wind. I've still got some really nice looking skies outside this morning. Beautiful start, actually. We're in the 40s, a couple spots in the 30s, but most of us in the 40s as you head out the door. Carrollton, New Philly, Coshocton, all in the upper 30s. Most spots, though, in the 40s. There's Worcester at 39 degrees, 44 in Cleveland. Got a lot of sunshine today. Warm front staying to the north, which means our south, or cold front, rather, staying to the north. Our south winds are still going to be pushing all of that cold air well to the north. So we're stuck in this warm air all day today again. Yesterday we hit 57, 56, 57. Today, maybe about a degree or so warmer because of the sun early in the day. Clouds come back late. May see a sprinkle or two just around sunset, if not a little bit after that. But most of us are dry until about 9, 10, 11, maybe even 12 o'clock. That's when that widespread rain rolls in. Here's 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, though. Notice widespread rain all most of the night, and then we're going to get in on some downpours, some heavier rain rolling through tomorrow during the morning commute. Temperatures are in the 50s, so it will all be rain. I do not expect any ice, any snow, no mixing, nothing winter like at all tomorrow morning. It is all going to be warm and wet, mild and wet. But then we got to start talking wind. Wind is going to be gusting out of the south about 30 miles per hour tonight. Tomorrow, once that cold front rolls through, winds are going to be gusting to 50, 50 miles per hour. That's going to cause some issues, maybe even some power outages. Plus, with the showers, the, the, the rain on the back side of it, we're going to have temperatures dropping all day. We're going to have winds gusting to 50, maybe some power outages, maybe even some slick spots late because as temperatures drop, Look at these numbers for your Wednesday evening dropping into the lower 30s, giving us a little bit of lake enhancement on the back side of it. Maybe just some straight up lake effect snow showers early Thursday. I do not expect widespread slick roads, but I do expect a few spots to get slick early Thursday morning. Your Wednesday, we should be warm enough, but by Thursday, that's when we're going to have those issues early in the day. Numbers are way too warm on Wednesday, and they're just not dropping fast enough to give us issues. But I'll tell you what, the wind and the rain is going to cause a problem. So the best day to travel, today. If you have an option, today's going to be the day for it. We'll show you the seven-day forecast. Getting home from wherever you're headed could be a concern also, guys. Mm. All right. Thanks for the heads up, Trent. You